Okay, this morning, guys, we're going to be shooting the 9mm Makarov 70 grain Powerball round. It's rated at 1250 feet per second. Energy is 242. I'm going to be shooting this today out of my CZ82. And we're going to be shooting it through four layers of denim and a calibrated gel. This is made by Corbon. Uh, they load it their own. They use Starline brass, as you can see there. It does have the polymer tip. So let's get this shot in the gel and see how it works. Looks like dead center shot. Let's go check it hey out. Guys, you can see where that 9mm marker off one end. It looks like right at, a little bit before an inch, about three-quarter mark. Looks like we got some rapid expansion denim loss down through there. Opened up pretty well. And then it tracked on down. It looks like it settled down like right at the four-inch mark. And then we keep on going down, going down. And it looks like the jacket separated right at eight and a half. And it looks like the lead core went to right about nine and an eighth. So let me get that dug up out of there. I don't know where the little Powerball plug is. That might be at the beginning like it was on the 357. So let me get this dug up out of there and give you guys okay, a guys, You can look. see I got that 70 grain Powerball up out of the gel for you. Like I said, it separated from the jacket there right at about eight and a half, eight and three quarter, right around in that area. And then nine and an eighth is where the lead slug ended up. So nine and a quarter, nine and an eighth penetration. I still didn't find the Powerball. I will get this cut open so you guys can see the wound track. That's the Corbon Glazer Powerball. 9mm Makarov, 70 to grain, 1250 feet per second. Let me get this cut open so you guys can look okay, at it. Okay guys, on that Powerball track, I went ahead and just cut it square out of the gel instead of cutting it in half. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you look through the gel. What you're seeing right here, right there is the little polymer tip. Right at an inch and three quarter is when that dumped out of that round. And if you guys look down through there, that's the wound track. As you see through where it dumped the denim right there. And you can see where it stabilized and went on down. So basically, that's a really good cross section. Not a cross section, but a long view of what happens when the bullet goes in. You can see right there, it starts to expand gets to its max expansion that's where all the energy dumps and then that shock wave keeps going right there is five inches that's the five inch mark right here and then the bullet settles down so for the first five inches there's a lot of trauma with this round and then it settled down to its resting spot where we pulled it up out of the gel so what you guys are seeing right there is through the gel and you guys can see actually how that bullet works. You guys have a good okay, one. Okay guys, we're at the post of the 9mm Makarov Powerball by Glazer. 70 grain, it does have a polymer tip to it, and it's supposed to aid in expansion, which every time I've tested these, it has. Uh, we shot this through four layers of denim in the calibrated gel. It penetrated pretty decent for a light round. Remember, this is a 70 grain round. This isn't a very heavy round. It penetrated, we have a couple different penetration points. The first penetration we had was at eight and a half. That's where the jacket separated from the core. That's the jacket itself. That separated from the lead core. The lead core went ahead and went down to nine and an eighth, which was pretty decent. Nine and an eighth, very lightweight round. The, the, the round is designed once it goes in, maximum rapid expansion, which you guys seen in the video. You guys seen that in the cutaway. You guys seen that cutaway. That was pretty nasty expansion for such a light round. Did very well. Weight retention was right there too. Don't, don't get me wrong. It was 69.4. Of course, I'll throw a PIP up there for you guys. 69.4 and I did not grab that, that polymer ball that was in the gel. We discarded the gel without me grabbing that. So I'm sure it would have been right at 70 with that it doesn't look like we lost anything off of this jacket the jacket peeled back really well and obviously we didn't lose anything off of that core that core is well intact it just expanded out like it should have done so very very well there so 70 grain round can't beat it nine millimeter mockeroff round once again powerball by glazer you guys have a good one